So did you know that um, telomere length has been associated with sleep? Um, <clears throat> first of all, what are telomeres and what does sleep have to do with them and who cares? Well, we should all care. Um, let's go over a couple of basics. Uh, chronic sleep loss is associated uh, um, with a lot of health impacts. Uh, increased Alzheimer's, cancer even, which we'll cover in a, another video. Diabetes, for sure. Uh, depression, immune system dysfunction, uh, hypertension. Telomere shortening has been associated with uh, shortened lifespan. Uh, sleep loss has been associated with telomere shortening. So therefore, again, shortened lifespan. Um, even short-term sleep loss has been associated with decreased gene expression. And the genes that we're talking about, um, there are ton dozens of them, many of them associated with um, cardiovascular inflammation. So again, there's a lot of interesting facts circling around this area. Um, <clears throat> I'll talk about it for just a minute, but before I do, quick introduction. Dr. Ford Brewer, PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, cancer, disability, dementia prevention. Um, as with any other uh, medicine, what you do as a patient is the most important part, but there's a lot of facts and uh, consultation and medications that we can uh, provide to help you in your uh, preventive journey. <clears throat> Telomere length and sleep. So let's go straight into some uh, academic articles. This is from the National Academy of Sciences. This is effect of uh, insufficient sleep on circadian uh, rhythmicity and uh, expression amplitude of human blood transcriptome. And in other words, it was that last item I talked about a, fin a few minutes ago. They took healthy young men and uh, shortened their sleep. They didn't even wipe out their sleep. They just shortened it for a week or so by a couple hours. Um, when has that not happened to you or to people you know? And how often is that happening constantly? Well, again, uh, if we look at our biochemistry, we look at our transcriptome. In other words, what our genes, the, the proteins that our genes are making, we see an, a significant impact just by a couple of hours uh, for a week or, to, or so. Let's look at another uh, study. This is uh, the Public Library of Science. Short sleep duration is associated with shorter telomeres, uh, length in healthy men. Now, <clears throat> what they did here was they took a, a cohort called the Whitehall II cohort and basically did a cross-sectional study, meaning they did telomere length on a lot of uh, participants. Then they also did uh, age, um, or, or excuse me, telomere length and sleep, uh, sleep uh, duration. So in this study, they didn't follow these people to see how long they died. They just looked at their telomere length and the uh, amount of time that they slept. Again, they found out a significant correlation. Now, what, is, uh, what all, does all this have to do with telomere? What is a telomere and what's this got to do with uh, life? So if you look at, uh, again, uh, we showed a picture earlier, and this is a diagram of a chromosome. We've got 23 chromosomes. Uh, each chromosome is a huge bundle. It's like a wire of DNA. If you consider the, what, six, is it six million base pairs? Um, <clears throat> separated up into 23 chromosomes and uh, realize that we have to, in order to get gene expression, genes are located all along the chromosome. In order to express that gene, you have to unravel a certain part of that chromosome. You have to find that certain part. You have to know where that gene is, unravel that part, 
transcribe it, and then you can replicate the proteins coded by that gene. Well, <clears throat> again, what's the telomere got to do with this? The telomere is like a, if you consider again that this is wound up like a, a spindle or on a spindle, the telomere is critical to finding these uh, sections of the genes, unraveling them, and providing our body access to the specific codes within a specific gene. So shortened telomeres are associated with inability to replicate, inability to, uh, to find and use genes, and that's what life is all about. So <clears throat> here's another study. This was in Oxford Sleep Journal, um, and on this one, they found an association between snoring and leukocyte telomere length. Now, this, is an, uh, this study itself is interesting in a couple of different ways. Number one, <clears throat> it has to do with immune function. Obviously, if you shorten uh, the uh, leukocytes are critical cells within our immune system. Um, and the other piece had to do with um, the fact that they said, look, um, usually you assume snoring is all about obstructive sleep apnea. We actually ruled out sleep apnea and looked at snoring in non-OSA patients and still found a significant um, inverse, rela inverse relationship between telomere length and snoring. In other words, the more you snore, the shorter your uh, telomeres. This has a significant issue for many of us who have family members with a lot of snoring. Uh, again, it makes you worry, and I think we should be worried about sleep, sleep quality, and um, our aging, preventive medicine. Now, where did I get this topic in the first place? It's from this fellow named Matthew Walker. Matt Walker wrote a book called Why We Sleep. That was referred to me by a, uh, <clears throat> a uh, friend and family member. Why We Sleep is an excellent book. I'm going to be doing uh, a review on it at some point. But uh, as you may have noticed, I've already done a couple of videos that came from topics out of this book. One was the association between um, heart attacks and the time change for daylight savings time. When we lose an hour, we get an increase of about 10% in heart attack rates uh, during that, that day that we lose the hour of sleep. Today, we talked about telomere length. In other words, the DNA, the physical part of DNA, changing associated with our own ability and quality to get uh, uh, of sleep. So, <clears throat> If you, may, uh, if you know anything about this area, if you have opinions, if you have thoughts, if you have questions, I'd certainly appreciate uh, hearing from you. Thank you much.